semi uh, quarterfinals. St. Lawrence's host from last year up against Aquinas College. Waiting to get underway here. Blockbusters all day here on Field One Confraternity 2024. Live from Townsville at Jack Mansky Oval. And we are underway as St. Lawrence's will kick off from left to right. And a lot of rain here at Jack Mansky Oval. Handling will be paramount. Guys, hang on to it the longest. A chance you're going to win this one. Big shot, and it's been belted. Hit there from Lucas Smith. And a knock on. So St. Lawrence's will have great field position. They'll be 20 metres out from the try line with this scrum feed. So scrum set, centre of the park, Jack Mansky Oval. Wait for the scrum to be fed. Armstrong, the first carry. Put in a couple of donuts. Armstrong still going, still going, Armstrong. No right to get as far as he has. It's going to be tackled in the end there by Hasick, a full back, one on one. Short ball, crash ball. Preston O'Brien. Oh, was there an obstruction there? And the referee did see one. So a penalty, a lucky one, Lorries, after a handling error there from Aquinas College. From Ashmore on the Gold Coast, up against St. Lorries from Runcorn. They have colleges in... Right in the city, basically, in South Brisbane. Their playing fields are out at Runcorn, as we know from last year. Aquinas running. Oh, again, another handling error. This time against the prop forward. And Holyoke. So, uh, might be the first scrum to be packed. So, St. Lawrence is with another crack at the line. Blakey. Little knock on there. So, no one wasn't from the hand. It's actually, well, I suppose it was, but the foot got in the way. So Aquinas will have another scrum feet and a turn in possession. Armstrong, the tackler, hangs on. Does he hang on too long? No. That's uh, Clay Doyle Myers, the, the ball carrier. Start from dummy half, Ahern. Gets over the halfway line. Goes behind. Referee says backwards. Interesting. Edie with the footy. Holyoke. Holyoke. Edie puts it high, cross field. Knock on, says the uh, touch judge. So the referee slated for this one is Jaden Windle, Kyle Pitchford, and Nick Taylor are his touch judges. Lorries has come from a long way back, but the collision is big here from Holyoke. Smashes into 
Smashes into the ball carrier in. Ends up with a dislodged footy. So a little bit of attention needed on the halfway line. I think it's more of a bit of winded or maybe a bit further south. We see in the backfields rain. Right now it's not actually rain, it's just a it's just a mist. Still the conditions are wet. Our player's gonna continue. They might be short. Yeah, I thought they only had five in the scrum. One by Aquinas. Throws a dummy. Doesn't get through there. It's Cody Eady. I haven't seen Aquinas on field one here, but I'm liking the number six there from Aquinas and Eady. Armstrong hanging on. Held, says the referee. Coming on with... Oh, came on with Gusto Franklin, but he got cut down the end by the lorry's defence. Loose foot. Edie again. Oh, it goes over the back of his head. Two knock-ons here, and that'll be the first one against Aquinas. So lorries will have the scrum feed. Ten metres out. First tackle. As you'd expect, slippery. With bodies holding down the ruck, relieving penalty here for St. Lawrence's. Jaden Windle. Bring Aquinas back. 10 metres from the tap restart. That's just pretty <laughs> you can go up a bit further, I think he's trying to say, because I thought he's a long way back, the touch, uh, the referee. And now that's more like it. <laughs> so, welcome to the front line, Matea. Guess a triple whammy. O'Brien gets the same treatment. Headed by Nathan Jones. Preston O'Brien now to the halfway line. Well, that's not Preston O'Brien. That's actually Justin Wilson wearing the 20. The mud's covering half his number. Catch and pass. And that will go into touch. And the player down in backfield, but I think he's okay. Henry Edwards. To knock on. Nil all. 11, it's over 11 minutes to go. Dual Myers thrown around like a Rag doll there. This one is uh, Holyoke. He's been strong on the left side. The, the big number 10 from Aquinas College. Again, they're just peppering the right hand defence of St. Lawrence's Aquinas as they come to this clubhouse side. Again, they come this way. Edie. And they hung on to Edie. He's going to keep them guessing. Pass or run. Harris. Offload. Numbers out here for Aquinas. Doesn't give it. Three on one, or three on none, actually. Last tackle now here for Aquinas. Crossfield kick. 
Lance in the in goal area. That's kept alive. Knock on here from St. Lawrence's. Aquinas is going to come up with a try. Crossfield kick. And the referee awards the try. So Aquinas open the account in the 10th minute. And it took an aerial route for first points. So 10 metres 10 meters out was the last. Kicks it straight from there. And he'll go over and score the prop forward. Addison, Holyoke. I said he'd been strong on the left-hand side's Strong right, he comes up with a pie. Conversion. One is in good position and two is going to be kicked by a forward. And he's left footed. How good. And he's got the zero tape on his head. This guy's got the complete package. Sets himself. Conversion is important. Half a try. There you go. Don't even know, don't even know why we bothered. 6 0. Let's have a look at that again. The ball landed right on the try line. It was knocked on by Laurie's player and then swooped on by. Addison Holioki. Referee check with his touch judge as you do. See it was a knock on and it was. Away we go. This time taken cleanly by Aquinas. The shot coming in through here from Justin Wilson. Preston O'Brien Heavy takes on his number 10 and Holioki the try scorer. 10 on 10. Kenneth Harris. Blindside again. They're just really muscling in on the right-hand defence of St. Lawrence's. I don't know whether it's a ploy to try and weaken them with continued assaults. Time will tell. Matea, the tackler. That's the 40. Uh, Edie, cross-field kick. All the time in the world. Gets the offload. Owen Frost... Spinning out is uh, Cartello. Frost wants another go. He runs it out. Inside the 10. Comes down. Just quick play the ball. You, you get those speed men in there. And they run it out and they're offside. Good ploy, St. Lawrence's. Down 6 0. It's a long way to go in this contest. Quarter final. Confraternity 2024. You can see the the water in the table drains here on the outside the field of play. The amount of rain that's come in. All drain away nicely. You get no more. Tap restart. Armstrong. Around the ankles. Door Myers. Under ball here for Corners are awake to that one. Got player down here. I think the uh, Aquinas player, Clay Doyle Myers. Short break. This is a 10 to. Looks like a, might be a uh, left shoulder. It's probably not. It's probably his right ankle. Saying it's his left shoulder. <laughs> no, it's not going off. That's why. It's because he's a forward. So restart here for St. Lawrence's. Body's in motion. Ends up with Lucas Smith. 
Luke Smith will get up plate. Options left and right here for the dummy half in McNiven. If they can hang on to it and they... Well, it's hard to hang on to it when it goes behind you and it goes like a bullet, so it's going to be a penalty anyway for taking a player out. And St. Lawrence's will get another bite of the cherry. Less than five to go. Cooper Brown. Cooper Brown bounces off one. They come it back at him. They've been locked forward to Kenneth Harris. He's locked forward from Laurie's Lucas Smith. And Lucas Smith is driving. Still going to Lucas Smith. Waiting for the referee to say held. Short. O'Callaghan. Well, which way to go? Which way to go? Cut that ball. This time it finds its mark in Owen Frost, but Frost is going to be muscled to the ground by three defenders from Aquinas College. Crossfield kick. Batted back there from uh, Hasek, sorry, from uh, Armstrong. Cooper Matea loses the ball. Great cover defence. Scores remain. 6 0. But again, Laurie's field domination at the moment. Jaden Windle gets the two packs together. That's the 20 meter line and going on with it in the ruck. Laurie's blow up. Not going to change his mind. And there'll be a now the center of the park here. It's a bit greasy. They will take a tap restart, but the referee says, hang on. I've got to go back and get these guys back 10 metres before you can take that tap. Well, no, he's going to let it go on. What do I know? Oh, forward pass. <laughs> Looks at the touch judge. Kenneth Harris. So this scrum will be set with two and a half minutes to go. The 32 minutes out from 32 minutes, maybe 32 metres out. Four two. Set up. They go to the, the four players. Franklin the tackler. Allowed some easy metres there. Now it's Cooper Brown and Cooper Brown <laughs> driving towards the 10 metre line. They're 12 out now. Our lorries. A Calligan driving forward, tackle around the ankles there by Winton. Penalty for pushing the marker. I think it'll go against Lorries. No. Justin Wilson. Catch a pass. Lucas Smith gives it off to Croft. Nobody wants it. Going backwards, tries to pull it back in. That will be a knock-on, and Aquinas will come up with the scrum feed. I would think. Was he going to suggest it's... Yes, Aquinas will get the feed. One minute to go. So if they hang on to it for the full set, it'll be half-time, and they'll take that lead of 6-0 to the Sheds. They've got to hang on to it. Something they haven't been able to do the last 20 minutes, uh, 10 minutes. Penley, hand in the ruck. I'm not really sure why Quinas are in a hurry to keep going. The less time they've got with the 40, the less chances they've got of dropping it. Hines is staying the tackle. Shot coming from 
McNeven. Harper, break there. Just almost stuck his nose through there to Walter Winton. Goes over halfway. This is the last play of the half. Crossfield wobbly old kick. Taken by the fullback in Harry Armstrong. And that will be half time. A try to Addison Holyoke in the 10th minute. Has a converted try of 6 nil. We'll take a break. Back with the second half shortly. Both sides returning to the field. Hanks in the balance here, 6 0. Opportunity to progress to the semi finals tomorrow. It's the one try, 10 minute mark to Aquinas College to big man number 10, Addison Holyoke. And 20 seconds for the restart. These sides looking forward to a hot shower, their last game for the day. Look at him. Big Kenneth Harris, the 13. Like a caged lion, he can't wait to get into battle. He's walking around. And the siren's about to go. We are underway, second half quarter final. St. Lawrence is up against Aquinas College. Well, it's knocked back, will the referee say? Yes, knocked back. It's a call from the touchy, so Laurie's with Owen Frost. Big contact here. The shot's coming in this time from Brock Hines. Penalty against uh, Aquinas over Eager inside the 10. Justin Wilson, at number 20. Oh, great game. Lucas Smith. Ended up inside the uh, half of Aquinas, that touch finder. Cooper Brown gets the treatment. He's on his back and he's not well. Hands have come on, grabbing at his right. Sh no, I think he's just not even going to make a call on it. <laughs> That's why I diagnose calls from malpractice. So reaching towards that right shoulder, but six nil to Lorries. Clock keeps going here at Confraternity. We don't stop for injuries, malaise, referee. Discussions. Let's keep on rolling. That includes lost footy in case you have no ball, boys. <laughs> We're doing a great job. So the trainers are with him. I'm going to tell you about Aquinas College. They're from Ashmore on the Gold Coast. Their coaches Chris Lennon, Adam Samartina and Lockie Sheldon. Three coaches. There you go. It'd be an interesting discussion. Matthew Beaton is their manager and their principal is Mr. Marcus Richardson. Aquinas College situated Ashmore on the Gold Coast. Oh, they've got... Oh, okay. Guy in purple comes out. That's never good. And Qantas College extends its best wishes to Ignatius Park College for hosting Conference 2024 and hope that good luck comes to all those involved. Walking talking, this might need a little bit of a assistance from the field. Aquinas College winning the inaugural comp fraternity in 1980. As I mentioned before, the same year the State of Origin started. 
So they won it back then. Then after an extended break from the Carnival Quarters returned in 2006, won the Referees Award in 2009, and was promoted to Division One in 2013, hosting the Carnival in our 50th year in 2014. And as you know, St Lawrence is hosting this event last year. With the uh, Peter Ledbetter, the principal back then, or headmaster, has moved on to the wine capital of Adelaide. St. Lawrence's, their coaches Paul Bosse and Martin Langton, manager Sam Dickman, trainer Pat Patrick Byron. Now, if Patrick Byron's the one I think it is, I think he used to coach West Rugby Union in the A grade a couple of years ago to go from. Phil Mooney, and their principal is Ben Lowry. St. Lawrence's College in South Brisbane. Uh, opened in 1915. I remember it well. 270 boys back then. Now they have over 1,900, nearly 2,000. Old boys from the school include Cooper Cronk. Riley Jacks and Will Zillman. So a penalty for a high shot goes to St. Lawrence as we get back underway. Touch finder, 20 out. Here we go. Blakey. Here he comes, goose stepping Lucas Smith and Lucas Smith. Going through slippery bodies, Lucas Smith, a metre out. Referee says, get up and play it. Centre of the park. Here he goes again, Justin Wilson. Five out. They're going sideways, trying to find a way through this Aquinas defence. They go wide, goes back infield as Harry Armstrong, and Armstrong will be rattled up there by Cody Eady. This time, Liam O'Callaghan, the Losing metres, last tackle. Probably don't mind being back a little bit further. Let's look for a crossfield kick. Kick in the in goal area. Batted dead in goal. Safety first from Thomas O'Donnell. So that'll be a line dropout. And wet conditions. I just hope Noel Cleal is taking the line dropout in the mud. Got some on that in the wet. That's going to go into the Laurie's half. It's going to be picked up by McKay, but he's going to throw Justin Wilson back over halfway. So a good line drop out here from Aquinas. Watson. <laughs> Two 12s come together. Riley Franklin. They come up with it, and I'll tell you what, Flynn Moore, very happy. So from a line drop out to a scrum feed, 10 metres short of halfway. Fed, won by Aquinas. Nothing else, Clay Doyle Myers was down a little bit earlier, seems to have recovered quite well. Hines. Gets some treatment up the top there from Limo Gallagher. Dummy half is Ethan Robertson. Fresh legs on the park. How can I how can you tell? Look how fresh and clean his jersey is. Oh, it just hangs on to that. Driven back in the tackle, Flynn Moore. Robertson, dummy half. They come to the blind side. Peterson. Harris, 22 out from the trial and last tackle. All the time in the world to set himself for the kick is Cody Eady. Oh, taken in the end nicely on the far side. Cooper Matea, safe as houses. Up to Aquinas now to try and jolt the ball loose. 
same time not giving away any penalties. Heavy contact here. They're working on that Cooper Matea. A D take a clear catch. Good meters. Good meters. Preston O'Brien, along with the just uh, Justin Wilson, created some havoc. It's going to go end over end. And Hasek gets to the ten meter line. Laurie's inside the ten, and I'm assuming that referee. Jaden Windle is giving him plenty of notice to get on side. Perhaps even calling numbers out to get out of it. Or maybe not, just saying, look. God, good carry, good carry gets over the halfway line. Walter Winton. Oh, it goes behind, knock back, says the referee. Peter Elmore joins me. Greasy conditions. Brings well, another element to confraternity. You predicted it yesterday. Bad me. Yep. My bad. Well, I don't know if you predicted it, but you certainly spoke about the weather, so you've uh, brought it on. Well, I did yeah. mention that it'd be... Uh, You've First time we had rain and confidence yeah. in the five years we've been doing it, yeah. Commentator's curse. Oh, I've got plenty of them. You wait. <laughs> yep, it'll I'll happen wait. here again. It's a pretty tight old affair and matching the conditions this afternoon, St. Lawrence's College in Aquinas. Aquinas, one of the original schools of six in 1980, so they're back. And uh, yeah, very, very they, willing. They the first one? Yeah, they did. Mm. Yep, the original. So... And a willing game. Plenty of, plenty of heavy contact, as you'd expect, for the conditions out there. So they'll work it out here with Lorries and big contact here. Penalty inside the 10 again. The referee, Dayton Windle, he's asked for, for a few times. Game before was a 4 all draw. It was a 4-0 win to... Uh, the Cathedral College against uh, Mount Maria. Mount the Maria. Girls, yeah, and the final. girls, yeah. So that yeah. hung in the balance right to the end, as you expect, because, you know, as you see in Confra, you can lead with 10 to go by quite a bit and st still lose. Even yeah. lead by eight with two two minutes to go. Yeah, well, it's 20-minute halves, but it's a long 20 minutes, yeah. isn't it, in the weather? Especially in the weather. And just uh, quickly, uh, Padua, how are they... Yeah, we had a, a narrow loss to Brendan's in the final of the pool game, so it went down in the dying minutes. A controversial decision, but... Oh, he scored a try that was disallowed. try that was disallowed on the bell, so... Uh, we had a, a great first half, um, but uh, Brendan's, you just can't... Uh, you can't rest, and they've come back to and that's eventually the, win. That's yeah. the thing, if that, 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 that try is disallowed in the first minute, it's not spoken about. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, that's... We, we, we love a bit of controversy yeah. in footy. <laughs> <laughs> Doyle Myers comes <laughs> through and puts a big shot on, but yeah, that's right. Yeah. Controversy, why not? But yeah. it's something you remember. Yeah. So St. Lawrence is uh, up here on the back of a very, very successful rugby season. They were into the final of the AIC rugby and uh, a growing league program. They were obviously the host for last year. Yeah. I was just talking to Deputy Principal Ben Lowry, who uh, said that on the back of that, the numbers of rugby league uh, okay. participants have increased. So it's a growing story of league at, um, at uh, St. Lawrence's and former principal Chris Ledbetter, previously on the management committee. Yeah. So, yeah, he's done watching. a lot of work. Lot, watching from Adelaide, Adelaide I think. Adelaide, yeah, with a, a nice uh, Grand Chalvesi, probably, as uh, <laughs> Malcolm Turnbull would call him. Yeah. And um, he would be, uh, yeah, great man, yeah, great man, great yeah, man. And uh, joined us in commentary a couple of times. Yeah, he's talking about st establishing confraternity in Adelaide. Now, that would be an achievement, wouldn't it? That would look good on the resume. Yeah. If anyone could pull it off, it would be Chris. <laughs> Go for it, mate. I love Adelaide, by the way, yep. just mentioning. But, yeah, look, you wouldn't call it Rugby League Heartland, though, would you? Well, you've got to grow. You've got to plant the seed, <laughs> see what you can come yeah. up with. So here was Aquinas with a scrum feed. And I'll uh, try and add to their 6-0. 
lead. Addison Holiaki with a try in the 10th minute. So that's the only points of the game apart from the conversion. As you see, Kenneth Harris charge forward. He gets cut down there by Preston O'Brien. Centre of the park. They keep coming. It's with Clay Doyle Myers. And Myers not shrugging any responsibility. James a Watson. Great run by Doyle Myers. He's having a great game. Yeah. He went down early in the game. Yep. He seems to have recovered. The old magic sponge. And uh, Harley Peterson getting him around the park well, isn't he? A good seven. I've been impressed by the sevens of the competition. Yep. Probably more so from the, the whole back row. The 11, 12s and 13s. Here's another one. Again, they yep. played Dorm Myers with his second carry in yep. the set. Now it's the last tackle. Yeah. Lucky <laughs> to get away with that. <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to go. They go, run yeah. line. Show and go, show and go. Gets the offload. Goes back into the field of play. He's going to go on and score the try as Cormac Green. They kept it alive. I don't think it was supposed to go the initial player in uh, Kenneth Harris, but in the end, yeah. Cormac Green's going to score in the corner, Peter. Yeah, great, great vision by Cody Ede, the number six. It's been good. That'll be pretty hard to peg back given the yeah, conditions correct. with six to go. Cody Ede commits the defence. Yeah. Little show and go. A little, nice little offload. And uh, he'll, he'll have that one in his playbook, won't he? Still, uh, he's still have a little bit of work to do. I'm just trying yeah, to see the couple yes. defender. Might be the opposite six and William Cartello trying to come across there. But the momentum is with, uh, with Aquinas College. Yep. And, uh, yeah, it will be hard. Well, we spoke about comebacks but with five minutes to go. In these conditions, it's uh, twice as hard, if not more. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm not sure who won the other game in the semi final for yeah, the girls. Okay. Was no, it St. Not, Pat's, I yeah, think? Not, uh, yeah, yeah, the St. Pat's, uh, the final of the girls is Cathedral and, Saint and Pat. Pat's. Same yeah, so, yeah. So, a repeat. Yeah. yeah we... Cathedral winning it last year. So, yeah. St. Pat's trying to uh, exact revenge, and that'll be at 4 p.m. Uh, 4.30, I think 4.30 it is. now, yeah. yeah. I think it's, yeah, 4.30 at... I, b I better get that right. Please check your program. But yeah, check your I'm local guides. Yeah, that's right. 4.30 at, um, at uh, the new stadium. So, have you been there? No, I have not. Okay. Actually, the yeah, last yeah. one I went to, they knocked it down. Yeah, that's right. Are you <laughs> calling the game? No, I did actually ask Mark Bunning if we could, but I think the NRL are going to look after that one. It'll be okay. included in the stream, so somebody okay. will be calling that one. We're um, not going to have to take money off you for that, are we? No, no <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Bunning might. Maybe. Yeah. I'd, uh, I did ask Mark, but yeah. the, uh, the NRL said uh, no, they'll... So St. Lawrence has obviously want to get underway quickly here. We've got uh, a delay on the kicking tee, though. Yeah, one job, mate. Yeah. But it's uh, yeah. But I'll be here doing uh, semi-finals for, yep. for the men. Yeah, let's see what happens there. But I was just saying earlier, Peter, that uh, some washing machines are starting to shake yeah. all around the state at the moment. As we see, the short yeah. kickoff yeah. doesn't come off. Kenneth Harris with the footy. Well, we hope that the, the rain is here for this afternoon and can rain all day tomorrow with the rest day. Yes. And we hope we're back to fine conditions on Thursday. Catching the gully there from the Aquinas player. Yeah. Again, the back rower, Dorm Myers, having a great game. So, halfway line is there for Aquinas. Three minutes remaining. Can they put some more points? They lead 10 0. Two tries to uh, zip. Try in the first half to Addison Holyoke at the 10 minute mark. Here he goes, he's been dynamic. Yeah, Kenneth, Kenneth Harris, Harris yeah. yeah, he's had good leg drive and good post contact meters from Harris. As our, our man six again, Cody, Cody Ede puts the ball up. Great take under pressure. Very Armstrong. Well, that's a long way from there to the try line for St. Lawrence's, but let's see what they can do. Well, I don't want to let, lose a quarter final with a zero on the scoreboard. Yeah. A while since lorries have unable to put some points on the on some point. A little bit flat footed, but he's going to drive forward in the end. There will be. I don't think that's is this Preston O'Brien. Yeah. No, it wasn't Preston O'Brien. It's actually Cooper Hamilton. Here's a long kick, end over end yeah, from Henry Edwards. It's a it's a, a kick that deserves a good chase. Wade and Hazik. Uh, great defence there from the 21 from St. Lawrence's, that being Thomas Ahern. Again, well, that man, Walter Wynn. Good front on tackle by Zach McNeven. 
So less than two to go. Yep. Yep. Well, it's a loose well, carry for his opportunity Here's for Lawrence. Chance. Yep. Broken play. Beats one. Not the second. The full back and Armstrong. Looking for a quick play of the ball. Gets it six more to go. Yeah, well done, the Harry Armstrong. Good play. Good run and a good play of the ball. Watson. Here they come. Laurie's big men. Preston O'Brien. They've got a back line out to the right, but Aquinas has shuffled across in defence. They're coming up quickly here to shut down that play. Led by the 14 and Ethan Robertson. Two metres out. Can Laurie's get over? Kick it in the end. Goal area that's going to be knocked on. The referee's going to say it's a double knock on. Aquinas okay. keep their line intact. You know, Aquinas are celebrating there, and uh, he's. You can go up there all What's, you like, the yeah, referee will never uh, let you take a quick tap. No, he's not calling it a tap. I think he's calling it a knock on. Well, what is the ruling here? It's a line dropout. No, I'm just trying to work. So it's a knock on by Aquinas. Okay. I don't think we'll argue line, too I'm much not, with 44 seconds to go. Yeah, John, I'm not really sure yeah, yeah, where, where he found a knock-on in there yeah, from McCormick. Well, but anyway, that's, as you said, uh, Pete, it's up to the referee. He was yep. right there, and we're 50 metres back. Yep. Lorries, they'll have four tackles. Cooper to Hamilton. That naught. He's one. There's Kalen Mackay, good little run out of dummy half. Not getting the full set yet. Preston O'Brien. Yeah, he's been set strong. Straight. Yep. Even a field goal. Yeah. We don't really want to lose 10 1. We've got nine seconds. This is the play, the final one. We've gone high. Melbourne Storm style back. <laughs> Let's play on because it should be six more to go. And the referee has yeah, awarded yeah. six more to go. But the, and, uh, and the uh, touch judge flag goes up full time well, here. Laurie's willing to the end. And uh, as uh, the conditions have caught the score at a 10 to Aquinas and uh, a zero to St. Lawrence's, but uh, a good entertaining game of football nonetheless, John. Especially in the wet there. Peter Elmore, thank you for your company. We'll take a break here as we wait for the next uh, chilling and thrilling adventure here at Jack Mansky Oval in the wet. We'll be back soon. <laughs>